Hello everyone, welcome to Geometry for Cat series and let's continue with our questions on circles and for today's session, our first question is what is the circumference of the below circle given that AC is the diameter and BD is perpendicular to AC. BD is perpendicular to AC. AC is the diameter. Can we say angle made by AC on the circumference will also be 90 degree. So triangle ABC is 90 degree, right? Can we say in any right angle triangle, if BD is the perpendicular, the altitude to the hypotenuse, then the relation we get is BD square is equal to AD into DC. Or we can say BD is 36, 6 square is 36, CD is 3 and AD is what we need to find. So we can say AD will be equal to 12, right? So this length AD is 12 centimeter. Now we need to find the circumference. What is the diameter? Can we say whole diameter AC is the D which is equal to 15 centimeter or the circumference of a circle is nothing but pi into d so this will be 15 pi centimeter so our answer is option b okay now the second question is say in the following figure lines ap AQ and BC are tangents to the circle. The length of AP is 14 centimeter. This whole length is 14 centimeter. Okay. Find the perimeter of the triangle ABC. So, what we can say if I take AB as X, BP as Y, now we know that we know that the tangents drawn by the same point are always equal, right? on the same circle so if bp bp and bd are the tangents drawn by the point on this circle can we say bp is y bd is also y similarly this whole length aq will be 14 centimeter as well right and in that case we can again take that if this length is w and this length is z this length will also be z right correct this length will also be z although we can say that these are also y and x but it's better that way just to understand this now what we can say what is our uh, perimeter perimeter of this triangle abc will be equal to x which is ab plus bc bc will be y plus z plus AC which is equal to W and what is X plus Y it's 14 Z plus W is also 14 so a total 28 centimeter and our answer is option D now in these kind of situation you can just remember that if tangent AP is given the perimeter of this triangle ABC will be just twice of this just the double of it okay which is 14 into 2 28 centimeter now Next question, it says in the given figure, could AC and BD meet at E? AC and BD meet at E. A is equal to 3 cm given hai. <coughs> B given hai. ED given hai. hai na? BA is equal to 5 cm. Then find the length of CD. Now what we can say that if you consider the angle made by the, this code AD, this code let's join this ad angle made by ad on the circumference if this angle is theta can we say this angle will also be theta and these are vertically opposite angles can we say triangle bea will be similar to triangle ced triangle b e a will be similar to triangle C E D. Now think about this. The side length opposite to theta is 3 centimeter here, and the side length opposite to theta is 9 centimeter here. 
means the ratio of sides of triangle CED to BAE is 3 is to 1, right? So we can say opposite this, the side length will be triple. If this is 5, this must be 5 into 3, which is equal to 15 centimeter, okay? Because these two triangles are similar. So the ratio of the sides against same angles in both the triangles are always equal. So ratio of sides against against angle theta in both the triangle is 1 is to 3, 3 is to 9. So in this case also it will be AB is to CD is 1 is to 3. So if this is 5, this will be 15. So our answer is option B. Now, another question it says in the given figure, PA is a tangent to the circle from a point, from the point A, okay, A is the point of contact and B is the point on the circle such that AB is equal to BP, AB is equal to BP, angle APB is 18 degree, this angle, this angle is 18 degree. So angle AB is equal to BP, can we say these two angles will be equal, so this angle is also 18 degree. Now remember what we learned about uh, tangent and the point of uh, and a code in a circle in the first video of circles. That angle made by code AB with the tangent is same as angle made by AB on the circumference. So this angle will also be 18 degrees. <coughs> now. Can we say angle DBA, this angle, works as the exterior angle of triangle ABP, 18 plus 18, so this will be 36 degree because of exterior angle. Now what will be angle DAP? This will be equal to 180 degree minus 18 degrees plus 36 degrees, which is 54. So this is equal to 126 degrees. And so our answer is option A, a really good question based on properties on the angle made by a code with the tangent. Now next question it says in the following diagram A and D are centers of the two circle. So A circle of center of this circle, D is the center of another circle with the same radius. Okay. Angle APD is 120 degree. This angle is given. This angle is 120 degrees. Find the ratio between the length of common code PQ and the length of BC. Length of BC. So, can we say if this angle is 120 degree, AP will be radius R. PD will also be radius R. Now instead of taking radius r, if we take some value, let's say if this value is something like 1, if I take AP is equal to 1, PD is equal to 1. So AP and PD are equal. Can we say in triangle APD, this whole AD will follow this 120, 30, 30 triangle rule. This is 30 and this is 30. So if this is 1, this is 1, this is root 3, right? So we can say the length of AD will be equal to root 3, right? Now in that case, if I draw perpendicular length here, okay, can we say that symmetricity of this figure as both the circles are of same radius, this angle will be equal to 60 degree because the whole angle is 120 degree. In that case, if this is 90 degree, this is radius r. Against 90 degree, its length is 1. So against 30 degree, this is 30 degree. This length, let's say this is pm. pm will be 1 by 2. And similarly, mq will also be 1 by 2. So we can say that pq will be same as the radius which is one unit right pq will be of one unit now again as we can say that ad is root 3 ad is root 3 
can we say am am will be equal to half of it means root 3 by 2 so am will be equal to root 3 by 2 now what we can say about ac ac is the radius so ac is equal to 1 can we say the length of mc the length of mc will be equal to 1 minus root 3 by 2 or the length of bc will be double of it because mc will be equal to bm so we can say length of bc will be equal to 2 minus root 3 what do we want we want pq upon bc what is pq pq is 1 bc is equal to 2 minus root 3 which we can try to rationalize let's see what we are getting here so this will be 2 plus root 3 divided by 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1 so 2 plus root 3 is 2 1 so option b is correct so this question uses basics of circles and some part of triangles right a really good question so with that amazing question we are done with this session i hope you enjoyed it thank you